This is T.Y. back with another video and I uh, wanted to talk about Ryan Garcia. Um, Ryan Garcia has, uh, aka Twitter man, has uh, came back, um, <laughs> returned himself back or, or I mean, he's, I guess he's already been back as far as on Twitter and stuff and social media. But um, I guess he uh, put out some tweets regarding Tank saying that, uh, you know, Tank ain't this, Tank ain't that, you know, he's fighting C-level fighters and, you know, he's been calling Tank out and uh, Mayweather's scared to put him in the ring with him and things of that nature. So I just want to give my take on that and uh, I just want to say that Ryan Garcia, man, is a funny dude, man, funny dude. Um, here it is, this is the same guy that uh, pulled out of a fight with Javier Fortuna and uh, said that he had uh, mental health issues. And again, I'm not here to, um, you know, bash anybody that has any mental health issues whatsoever. That's not my, my thing. That's not my thing at all. But I'm just saying, from Brian Garcia's sake, this is something that he has done all this year. So this year he has, um, he was on the Mike Tyson uh, show and uh, him and Tank had got into it. They FaceTimed each other. And they had got into it. And I was thinking that maybe Ryan Garcia and Tank was going to fight each other. Well, that turned out not to be the case. So Ryan Garcia said that he has something bigger than Tank. So then he made his own announcement saying that he had a fight with Manny Pacquiao. Well, that fight never materialized. And so then he said he has something bigger than that. And then come to find out that he was going to fight Javier Fortuna. Well... Then after maybe a week or two after the announcement of the Javier Fortuna fight, he pulls out of that fight and says that, you know, he has mental health issues and he can't, you know, that that's more important, things like that. Um, but you see the man on vacation, things like that all on his Instagram and stuff. So it, it makes you question whether or not is he, you know, what's really going on with him. And then he had, then they were supposed to be scheduling a fight with him and Jojo Diaz, which... Dia, Jojo Diaz had previously just here just on Saturday night had fought Devin Haney well before that fight Jojo Diaz was negotiating to trying to fight with Ryan Garcia well Ryan Garcia then you know has a hand injury a wrist injury some sort of injury regarding his hand his wrist something so it puts him out for all of this year and he's looking to return next year so now he's out and he's talking He's talking a lot of stuff about uh, Tank, uh, you know, talking a lot of stuff, saying that, you know, you know, he, you know, Tank's not really fighting nobody and that he, you know, he's been calling Tank out and things of that nature. But, you know, it's funny because, you know, Ryan has had an interesting year, man. You know, he's just been uh, very inconsistent, first of all, uh, you know, you know, because we, we don't we you don't know what, what what's going on in Ryan's head. You know, again, you know, this is the same guy that, uh, yeah, he wanted to fight Tank, but then, you know, a week, you know, he turns around. Now he's talking about he's going to fight Pacquiao. Then that fight didn't happen. Then he's going to fight Javier Fortuna. Then that didn't happen. It's just so many mishaps with him. And it's just like at this point, you know, Ryan just needs to focus on getting himself back in the ring. Um, to me, honestly, he's the one that's the step. He's. He's the one that's far behind. Everybody else is doing stuff but him, you know. Tiafimo just came, came off a loss against George Cambosis, okay. Devin Haney just successfully defended his WBC title against uh, Jojo Diaz. And Tank just previously just fought against uh, Issa Cruz. Uh, meanwhile, uh, where Brian Garcia has not done nothing but just type on Twitter or, you know, you know texting and uh, typing on Twitter and Instagram, that's all he's done all year. 
So he has it or he's been on YouTube too, you know, punching people in the stomach and doing stuff like that, doing challenges and stuff. But he hasn't been in the ring with anybody. So, you know, it's funny that Ryan is out here talking jazz, talking stuff about people. And meanwhile, this dude has not has not done anything to solidify himself as a superstar boxer. So so people claim that he is. Which to me he's not. He's not a superstar boxer. Um, I've never really been a fan of his um, because I, I I'm just like well you know I'm the type where you have to show me you know, and he hasn't shown me anything you know. He came off his the last fight that we've seen Ryan Garcia in was a fight against uh was it Luke Campbell he fought and he stopped Luke Campbell but he got dropped in that fight and so. Um, we haven't seen Ryan Garcia since. Um, Ryan, you know, it's funny that this dude is out here talking stuff about Tank and Devin Haney and some of these other guys. And and then, you know, there's reports out there that they're saying that him, Ryan Garcia, him fighting George Cambosis is a bigger fight. But I'm like, how? How? How is that a bigger fight? Ryan Garcia has not has not done anything. He hasn't done anything. He doesn't have no belt. You know, he was once a mandatory to fight for Devin Haney's belt, and he didn't even want to fight Devin Haney. He wanted to fight Jojo Diaz, who was the other mandatory. So this is a guy that doesn't even want to fight the champion. I thought that uh, guys that are mandatories are guys that are challengers wants to fight champions, but that is not the case with him. He does not. He did not even want to fight Devin Haney. Um, to me, it, it's not even a question that if. if Tank does end up fighting Ryan Garcia. We already know who's going to win that fight. I, I feel like Tank will knock him dead smooth out. Like, no question. So, um, I just feel like Ryan is a joke, man. He's just a joke. Um, he, he has, he's, he's got to catch up, man. He's, he's far behind all his other contempt, all these other guys that's in the 135 division. He hasn't proved anything. He hasn't done anything. He's, he, you know, he's just been he's just been on Twitter, he's just been on Instagram and YouTube. He's just a social media uh, uh, guy, pretty much. You know, he's a pretty much a, a content creator at this point. So, you know, Ryan got said he got to step up, man. He got to step up. You know, it's easy for somebody to talk when they on Twitter or, or or Instagram, but it's it's something else when you actually out there proving it. And he hasn't done that. So. uh like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about Ryan Garcia, you know, and what his what his his words were said to to Tank and all the stuff that he's done. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I mean, I just feel like the man needs to prove. He got to prove himself, and he ain't been in the ring. He ain't fought nobody. And uh, you know, it's easier said than done. It's easy to say something when you're on Twitter. But it's something else when you get in that, inside that ring. And let's see. And, it, you know, and there's another thing that I want to say before I, I, I head out is that, uh, you know, you know, he should fight one of these guys like he should fight Issa Cruz. Then he should fight. Uh, um, Yeah, he should fight Issa Cruz. Or if he really wants to take fight, let's really put that let, make that happen. But I don't think that that's not I don't think that's going to happen anytime. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. And I don't think I just think he's just talking. I don't think he really wants that fight. And I just just I just know for a fact he don't want that fight deep down in his heart. He know he don't want that fight. But he could fight Issa Cruz since he's talking then. Since uh I don't think Tank wants to fight Issa Cruz no more. Let Ryan Garcia fight Issa Cruz and let's see what happens. Cause I honestly think that Issa Cruz would give Ryan Garcia a hard time. Hell, I even think Jojo Diaz would give Ryan Garcia a hard time. But um uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. You know, uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, let me know. And uh, peace.